uh, as most of you know, I'm, uh, I refuse to call myself an alternative physician. I may be alternative in a lot of ways, but I'm a natural health care physician. Uh, I use herbs, vitamins, uh, manipulation, uh, chiropractic manipulations, kinesiology. Uh, quite a few people have just uh, clicked out as far as just shut down. Uh, but uh, I'm proud of it. I don't call myself an alternative physician because I don't think that natural health care is alternative. I think what's going on for most people in Western medicine is alternative. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is one of the things I recommend is preventative health care is that you uh, do a parasite cleanse periodically. A lot of the herbs that my grandmother used to use in cooking don't seem to be that prevalent anymore. I still use a lot of them when I cook. But uh, a lot of the anti-parasitic uh, type herbs aren't around anymore. And then you think about it, you go to McDonald's and there's some guy and he's, hang on a sec. <clears throat> Let me make that hamburger for you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Hang on. Hang on. You want relish on that? No? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. And people will say, well, where would you get parasites from? Uh, food is stored way, belong way longer than it should be. It's frozen and refrozen. Uh, but I recommend it twice a year. Uh, for those of you out there, I don't know if there's double blind studies on it, but by God, I see it work. So I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, but my son came home. He was in the military here in Switzerland and then went around the world. And he came back. He said, you know, it's been a while since I've done a parasite cleanse. And I said, okay, we've got the herbs from uh, Biologo. Uh, you can get them online because by God, the drug companies don't want you doing anything but their uh, parasite cleanse, and they don't have many of them. But um, at any rate, my son, uh, a couple of days into it, said, Jesus, Dad, I, he said, I have no energy. He said, this is this parasite cleanse. And I said, well, if there's a deep infestation, there's evidence that yeah, you will get real tired. And the, one of the things is parasites start to grow in your system, and then as they die off, that die off just can be absolutely incredible. So we gave him some more herbs. I'm going to work on them this evening. Uh, to see if there's any more support that he needs with acupuncture or nutrition. But uh, I recommend it. I recommend that in this uh, soup of toxicity, uh, the number of drugs that have been put on the planet, the number of chemicals that have been put on the planet, the amount of radiation that have been put on the planet in my lifetime is incredible. Things that used to work fairly well, uh, homeopathy, uh, nutrition, uh, chiropractic, are seeming to be less effective uh, in that because the human system is toxic um, I recommend that you do a, t a cleanse a couple of times a year do a heavy metal cleanse uh, in the states uh, I think it's BioRay has a product called NDF and they have a parasite program as well Olga Clark um, Hol Holga, Holga, she's dead now um, probably from parasite infestation I really don't know, I'm just kidding I don't, I don't have any idea but uh, she has a great parasite program. Uh, but when I watch my son, who is aware of his body, come to me and say, Jesus, I am so tired, Dad. Is it this? And, I, and I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Uh, then he's a healthy kid. Uh, look at taking some preventative me measures. Benjamin Franklin said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I believe that's true. As I've said in the past, I have no evidence that it's true. But heavy metal cleanse toxicity cleansing, and parasite cleanse, I think is a valuable thing to do from time to time. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com